Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for tomorrow, June 12th. So this reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for Wednesday, June 12th. Timing is fluid. Wednesday, June 12th. What do we got? The Empress. Beautiful. Beautiful. 100%. Absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful new beginning. This is a beautiful new life. This is a miracle. This is a blessing. blessing. It's harvest time. It is harvest time. It's time. It's time for the delivery. It's time. It's time for your reward. It's time for your gift. This is a gift. It's a miracle. Empress reversed. Mm, right, the rest of the cards. Ooh. Five of Swords, Ace of Wands, reversed. The Empress Reverse, we have somebody here that's been suffering, somebody that's been in some pain, struggling. Somebody has been struggling, struggling to love themselves by the looks of things. Lack of energy. Lack of creativity here. We have somebody here that's probably feeling a little down in the dumps. Somebody may have acted recklessly. Reckless behavior. And now there's some sort of conflict. Five of Swords, this is conflict. Feeling defeated. Yeah, we have somebody here who is feeling defeated. They may have made uh, impulsive decision of some sort. Acted recklessly and now something has gone south or there's no growth or there's no nothing. It's not coming to fruition or something like that. here we have somebody here that is is very dominant we have a very dominant masculine energy here very dominant looks like somebody has been watching and there could be some communication that comes through this per it's like this person wants Power. This is, seriously, we got some power issues here. This is power and control, and this is this is power struggles, and, and these are both very dominant. So it feels like we have a very dominant, maybe it's like an alpha male or a very dominant male here that um, 
maybe has been watching or is about to communicate or something like that. There's been some there's been some deception though. There's been some betrayal perhaps. Or, you know, maybe this person just didn't see this person's value, didn't see this person's worth, and she gave up. She she gave up. The you know, she stopped giving it her energy. She did give up. This person, you know. Anyway, three of cups, this is friendship. This is this is celebration. This is having fun so somebody is having fun they're out there celebrating they're having a good old time you know uh, just uh partying you know ha living the good life getting getting all kinds of things i mean having their cake is just getting some cake and eating it too right here um this is uh going after what they deserve or getting what they deserve or getting gifts we have somebody here that is out there having fun, out there having fun, you know, um, celebrating. We got this person here that is watching, watching and This guy is definitely watching and observing, gathering knowledge, coming up with a plan. This guy is coming up with a plan. He's building himself up, too. He's very, he is. This is a very strong individual. Strong, wise, grounded, capable. This is a protector. This is a protector. So we have somebody here that... Maybe wanting to protect a connection because this is a connection. There's a union here. This is big communication. This is the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. This is truthful and it's big. And this is definitely about, this is about power. It's about taking back control of a situation. And I think what, what has happened here is there's, there's been some power struggles. Somebody may have been afraid to take a risk or they acted recklessly cause this woman the fe feminine this is the masculine this is the feminine to retreat it's caused this this feminine to retreat it's caused her to not put in any effort and to not care she's out there dating okay she's out there dating having fun you know she's doesn't care The Empress in verse, reverse. She's just like, you know, I'm not going to nurture this. I'm not going to give it my energy anymore. She's given up. We have this, this, this Empress in reverse that has given up. She just doesn't care. She doesn't, she doesn't care about it because, you know, there's not equal give and take. And that's what it's all about. It's about give and take. It's about receiving. It's about reciprocation. And this guy's been holding on and not reciprocating. So... That's what we got going on here. This guy's been holding on and he's been because he's been trying to remain in control. He's very controlling, especially if he's an alpha male. <laughs> okay, a very controlling individual here that uh, has been holding on and not offering much. So we have this female that's given up. She's like, you know what? I'm just going to go out and have fun. That's what's mirroring each other. She's, you know, I'm going to go out and have fun and I'm going to, you know explore whatever so um this guy wants to take back control the power so it's like we got somebody who wants to take back control of a situation a partnership that you know it's like they don't want to let the relationship go now these two people are completely different completely different from each other but they have a lot of similarities they're at ease with each other you know they may not look alike they don't look like each other but their souls feel each other, okay? So whoever this is, we have, a, we have a soul connection here that has probably been divided. Somebody's been pushed away. Somebody's been pushed away. Somebody was afraid to take a risk. Now somebody else has given up. Now this guy wants to take back control. This is what this is. He's like, this guy wants to take back control. This is a very, he's been 
planning. He has been planning. This Empress, I mean, she, it's beautiful. She is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a miracle. It's a blessing. And it's time. It is time. It's harvest time, like I said. So we got somebody here that... Oh, a message is coming. A message is coming. Um, and it may, it may, there may be some mild conflicts. Okay, there may be some mild conflicts, or, or there may have been some mild conflicts in a partnership because of lack of communication, or lack of growth, or lack of reciprocation. But right here, it's like. This is a union. We have this emperor, which is Aries. We have Aries, we have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. These are both males. These are both older males. Okay, these are these are males that are older. Like in age, I would say. My guess is 45 and above. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't think I ever said that. Um, these are older males. Um, the Empress is an older woman. That has a lot of life experience. Although, the Empress can also be a younger woman that could get pregnant. So pregnancy is big here, but this is, you know, I'm not, I don't think this is about pregnancy. I really don't. I don't think this is about pregnancy because I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. Not with this right here. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. But I'm just saying, anyway, this is giving birth to something new through love and compassion. So that's offering love. But anyway, um... I think we, if we look down, I just happen to look down, I think we have the birth of a new union. That's, a, that's, that, that's something new. That's, that's something new. You can't pretend that it ain't. It is. I know a lot of you would like to pretend that it's some, you know, whatever. But it's not. Okay, that's something brand new. So, anyway, we, I think we have the birth of a new partnership. Yeah. Somebody is about to seize an opportunity. An opportunity for love. I think I think that there's been some sort of awakening, some sort of epiphany that it's time to release the past, it's time to accept the past, it's time to forgive the past and move into this new union. So I believe that somebody is going to receive some unexpected communication with that page of swords or some unexpected opportunity, this new idea, because that's a new idea. Swords are ideas, this new idea, this new approach, this new thought. It's like this it is an awakening. So somebody gets some sort of epiphany or some sort of awakening or some sort of situ they get they get put in some sort of situation which tells them it's time to start this new life and live again. Somebody's going to be receiving something. You could be out partying or out drinking or something like that and this dominant person comes up and strikes up a conversation with that page of swords. This person is very curi curious, very energetic. You know, maybe the life of the party, this person just, you know, maybe they're drunk, you know, because this is drunken drunkenness or whatever, <laughs> you know. There's, they maybe who knows what it is. There's drinking here, or, or I don't know where that came from. 
They're drinking too. So I don't know if this has to do with drinking. I just happened to notice drinking. And uh, this is rising from the ashes. It's time to live again. This is a beautiful opportunity. For growth, it really is. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio here as well. So I, we have everybody, it doesn't really matter. And we have Empress as Taurus or Libra. But it could be anybody because we all have, it could be anybody. But I, somebody's taking action. This guy doesn't sit around. This guy's, he, you know, whoever this person is, this person has money. This person is secure. This person is stable. This person has a lot to offer. This person is um, very strong, very, very wise, very, very knowledgeable. This person is... Um, very well respected, okay? I think that there is going to be some sort of coming together, even though this one is reversed. I think there's going to be some sort of coming together where somebody seizes an opportunity because they see the the, they see the beauty in it. We started this out with it's beautiful. They see the beauty. They see that it's time. They see that it's time to live again. It's time to, you know, resurrect from this place of doom. Okay. And live again. So for the 8th, I believe that there is going to be some sort of unexpected... It's either like a confrontation or communication or something like that that... brings two people together that you wouldn't expect. You wouldn't expect. You don't expect it. Put it that way. A secret is about to be revealed. Something that the universe has been waiting for the time. Okay? It's time. It's time for your new life. It's time for your miracle. It's time for your reward. So I don't know who this reading is for, but good luck. There's going to be mutual give and take here. There's going to be reciprocation where it's not one-sided. It's like you can have your cake and eat it too. I'll, I'll give it to you. You know, this the, whoever this person is, they have a lot to offer. They do have a lot, a lot to offer. This person is very, almost looks like well off. This person is very well off. This person is uh, I think this person is about to go after a connection it may and I think what's gonna for some of you I think it has to do with drinking I think that there's some sort of whatever it is and that's how it starts but what's the outcome what is the outcome well that's a birth of a new life right there that's that's a beautiful birth now so you can't restrain yourself the strength the reverse this is no restraint can't restrain yourself from it. Might bring on some fear. <laughs> um, it might bring on some fear. Might not be able to master your emotions. You probably won't be able to control. It, things may get out of control. The outcome is, you know, you probably won't be able to control it. 
This might get out of control. This is coming out of the cold, coming out of the darkness. It's the end of difficulty. So whatever is happening, it's, it's the beginning of a new life. It really is. So that's what I got. Let me get, should we get one more card? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to get one of these angel romance cards. I think that somebody is, you know, seizing a new opportunity that shows up in front of them. And I think it shows up spontaneously. I do. And I think it's 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 like it's uncontrollable. It's like you can't control yourself from going in that direction. Mm, interesting. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, I think there will probably be a couple people that are getting to know each other. And something begins that leads to some sort of, you know, this is a this is a soul connection, whether soul mate or not. But these two people, they don't look alike. They're they're totally different, totally different on many 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 levels. But they have this connection. In the state of doom, it's like that's just. In the past. It's left in the past. This is like the phoenix rising and it's time to live again. So whatever that means, I don't know. But that's what I got for the 12th. I think we have somebody here that is getting to know somebody new. If you are in a coupled relationship... There could be a reunion. There could be a reconciliation. There could be. There could be. Somebody could be coming out of the darkness. Seeing that they acted foolishly. They could be waking up. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. Somebody could be waking up and, you know, they want to... communicate the truth because it's the truth and the page of swords is the truth it's like they're going to seize the opportunity to speak the truth now they want to give to a situation could go so many different ways i mean i could keep going and keep going and keep going this woman has given up That's what I got. Good luck. 